this is Tomlin from TomlinHarmonicaLessons.com and first things first, I want to apologize for not getting a lesson up last Wednesday. Uh, hopefully we'll be back on track now and back into the normal routine of things. So today's harmonica lesson is called the top five mistakes that beginner harmonica players make. And I'm going to go through uh, all of these mistakes are very common. They're not in any particular order. I'm just going to do them in the in the order that they come to my head in. So the first mistake that I see all the time with beginner harmonica players is playing too hard. So we've all seen these very emotive, passionate harmonica players who look like they're giving it everything they've got. <laughs> It looks like they're really going for it and they're sucking really hard and they're blowing really hard but they're not they're playing really lightly and if you play too hard then you'll find that a lot of your notes are going to sound weird you might get a two draw that doesn't work or you might get a really airy sound like that uh, you might even not be able to single out a single hole because you're playing so hard so you've got to play gently play really really lightly and that's how you get a really good strong sound okay so the next mistake that I see all the time is playing with one hand so I see players doing this kind of thing and then they make mistakes as to where they're going on the harmonica the reason that you play with two hands is that it gives you a stable bass to hold your harmonica with and make sure that you're not flying from one side to the other and going too far. So if I'm playing with one hand and I want to go to the sixth blow, I might overshoot it because I don't have the other hand to make sure I'm in the right place. Okay, really, really important to play with two hands. Okay, next mistake that I see all the time is people moving their heads and not their hands. So if you move your head rather than your hands, then quite often you're going to end up getting notes that aren't consistently clean on the harmonica. So for example, so the reason for that is that my, uh, my harmonica is, is in a position that I, I'm holding it and my mouth is in a straight position that's giving me a clean single note. But as soon as I'm turning my head, then I'm going to be slurring my mouth over multiple holes and you're going to end up with a little bit of bleed from the adjacent hole to the one that you're playing. So for that reason, you want to make sure that you keep your head in a nice stable position and you move the harmonica with your hands. So once you've got a clean sound on the first note, that relationship between the harmonica and your mouth is going to stay the same because you're not moving your head and changing the angles. You're just moving the harmonica from side to side. Okay, so a really good way for you to practice that is to watch yourself in the mirror and see if you're doing it because uh, a lot of people aren't even aware of it. So really try and watch yourself in the mirror and Make sure that you're spotting one thing in front of you so that stops you from moving your head while you're playing. Okay, so the next big mistake I see all the time is looking at the harmonica. So if I want to start on the four hole draw, a lot of people do this. And they look down and they kind of count up and that it's just, it's not practical because you know, when you're playing more advanced pieces, you're not gonna have time to take the harmonica away and check where you are. You need to be able to go to the hole and go to the right one straight away. And the only way you're going to learn how to do that is by making some mistakes. So at the beginning, you might want to hit the four draw and actually end up with something a bit more like, but you can hear that it's the wrong note and you're gonna adjust and move up. And the more that you adjust and fix those mistakes, the more aware you are of where that hole is and eventually you'll just go to it. Now, you might see me every so often doing this and having like a quick glance at where I'm going. 
I'll do that to get started, and that's okay. But it's if you're doing it every single time, it's, it's gonna get into a really bad habit. Now, a similar thing to this, uh, to looking at the harmonica is counting up with your tongue. So I see students doing this all the time where I ask them to play the four hole and they'll go and they won't even play the right note because you know your tongue isn't a very uh, sensitive part of your body or certainly not a very uh, clever part of your body uh, for, for counting things. You just need to do exactly what I said before. Make the mistake here if you're hitting the right note make adjustments, and eventually you'll get muscle memory for the correct location. Okay, final mistake that I see all the time, and this is one that is really, really, really important not to make, probably the most important one not to make, is rushing ahead. So we're, we're living in a, a really awesome time right now where there are thousands of free harmonica lessons online. And that is awesome. I'm so pleased about that. That's how I learn. I learned by watching pretty much everything that Adam Gusso put out. And that was, you know, 10 years ago. And that was amazing and really great. But the problem with having all of those lessons out there is that we get distracted easily. We think, oh, look, there's this little thing here and there's this little thing here. And you start to learn a lot about the instrument, but you don't understand where you are on the timeline of the instrument. So you need to make sure that you're not, for example, picking up the harmonica and then two weeks later trying to learn to overblow. It's just, it's not realistic. What you need to be doing is moving slowly from one thing to the next in order. So you start by working on how to hold the harmonica correctly, then how to play clean notes, then consistently playing clean notes, then playing bends, etc, etc, etc. You don't need to go from picking up the harmonica straight to going to playing overblows, which are one of the most advanced things that you'll probably be doing on the instrument, or playing vibrato, another very advanced technique. So don't rush ahead. That is one of the biggest mistakes and uh, not very helpful. So those are the five things that I see most often with uh, beginner harmonica players. Uh, I'm sure that we've all done them at certain points. I certainly know that I have. Um, and hopefully you will think about how you're playing and change it a little bit. Uh, so right now, what you can do, if you enjoyed that lesson, you can give me a thumbs up by hitting the like button below. And you can also subscribe to my channel because I put out a new lesson every Wednesday. Uh, apart from last Wednesday, which was the first Wednesday in three years, I think, that I didn't put a lesson up. Uh, but there were... Uh, circumstances beyond my control for that. Uh, before you go though, one last little thing. Um, if you're struggling kind of getting your foundation sorted on the instrument, if you're struggling with getting clean notes, uh, you're not entirely sure what to practice, you want to get a bit of motivation and a little bit of feedback from a teacher, I have a four-week introduction to harmonica course uh, which will be starting very soon. So if you want to find out a little bit more about that, just click on the link in the description below. Thank you very much and see you next week.